started with this already? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I know it's a red lip. It's a red lip, what? It's a red lip. It's a red lip. Okay, we're not even gonna trip about it. We go, we're just gonna continue. We're gonna continue. Um, so as you can see down below, I haven't done this video in a very, very long time. I literally maybe over four or five months. Probably because I just kind of shifted the focus of my channel a little bit, but I remembered lot late last night because I couldn't sleep, my darling. I couldn't sleep. So I remembered late last night that oh my gosh, you know what? It's been a minute since I actually did a current favorites and I've got so many favorites that I want to share with you guys But there's too many for one video So I'm splitting up the current favorites to being beauty favorites which will incorporate skincare as well and then being uh, The other non beauty favorites. So that's how we're gonna do it So you might see me in this outfit in a second video, but I'm gonna record them all now today Okay, I've got so many products that I want to share <laughs> I've got so many products that I want to share and um, uh, yeah we're gonna get straight into it I'm gonna share some of my favorites with you guys and if you guys have used them please like please comment also subscribe to the channel because you know the channel is growing it's a whole entire family up here it's a whole entire vibe up here and that's a good time for me that's a good time and in no order of importance in no order of oh I love this I like no we're just gonna go into it so if you want to see what's in this video Maybe there's some favorites of yours in this video, then do keep watching. Okay, so uh, we're gonna get started with some skincare products. Now the thing is, I my skin has never been as good at it as it is right now. Ooh, it's Lumushem. I think I'm too excited to film this video. My skin has never been as good as it is right now, and I love what is happening. I, 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 and I, ooh, I really really love what's happening with my skin right now and I can definitely attribute it to some of the products that I'm going to show you today um, um, some of them I've received some of them no yep no pretty much most of them I've received and I just started using them and wanted to test them out and lo and behold they did wondrous things to my skin so let me share those with you now First and foremost, I'm going to start with Bioderma. Bioderma recently gifted me uh, the new range from their um, collection of products, and this is the Pigment Bio range. Now, some of the products I am mm -mm about, but the three, 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 honey, the three standout products for me are these three right here, and this is the Brightening Cleanser. Now this cleanser I use only once or even twice a week dependent on what's going on with my skin. It is an exfoliating cleanser. I actually tried it out the first time, uh, for the first time in one of my videos a while back and I really enjoyed it. I love how it's got micro beads or micro balls in it so it is exfoliating as you you can feel that it's actually really cleaning your skin and immediately when you're done with it it leaves your skin feeling really nice and smooth i absolutely love love this product i don't use it as much and i wouldn't really advise uh for an everyday use especially with things that are exfoliating but once or twice a week for me has worked so so well this range is very good with um evening out an even skin tone if you've got hyperpigmentation which i've got a lot of around my mouth and just underneath uh, my eyes right here but i this product has been doing the absolute most in conjunction with this product at night time i use the uh, night renewer cream and this is the Brightening Overnight Care. I love this one because it is sort of, oh, I'm almost halfway through. <laughs> uh, it is sort of like a, a gel. It's almost like a gel-based uh, cream and I love, love, love it. it. 
the scent is very soft it's smoothing it's a very sensual scent which is really really nice not overpowering for at night time which i appreciate a lot because i don't like strong scents on my face if i'm going to bed like for me it does make sense but it's really really nice at an eve at evening out uh, uneven skin tones really great for pigmentation if you are struggling with hyperpigmentation this range is absolutely like it's amazing it's done such wondrous things for my skin and um of course the micellar water bioderma is very very well known for the micellar water especially the one with the pink cap but this one is a brightening micellar water which i use when i am removing my makeup i don't use it every day because i am trying out different products but i use this one when i'm removing my makeup when i want a quick quick you know and what i love about this one is that there's no particular scent to it uh none of them it, actually there's no particular scent to them um it does not sting my eyes which is a very very important factor for me when I use cleansing products um, and I love them I love all three of them love them love them love them and then a few weeks after I received those bioderma ones I received some Kiehl's products and now I was just like okay okay but now I want to use them both but now I'm like okay what do I do what do I do so I opted to take the uh, day cream for Kiehl's from Kiehl's and use that and I also took the uh, cleansing foaming wash from Kiehl's now these are from the new range which is the calendula range oh my god also really really good in terms of brightening up the skin tone uh, also uh, an ev evening out uneven skin tones is a long evening out and even skin tones and it is really great for hydration most importantly hydration and the standout product for me in that regard is this one from Kiehl's this is the calendula serum infused water cream and I use this one in the mornings before I go to work or just in, in the mornings as a cream and this is a water-based one and it is absolutely amazing when I tell you about lightweight this is pretty much the perfect perfect cream um, moisturizer to use for the summertime because it is extremely lightweight when you apply it it sort of like dissolves dissipates into your skin almost immediately and does such a good job at leaving your skin feeling super soft super soft I just put it on my hand just before I started filming it leaves it so super because I need to remind myself of the thing why I like these products right it leaves your skin feeling super soft it's got um, calendula petals in it and a little bit of the calendula flower extract and it is really really good I ep yo I love this product I think it's so so great especially for summertime I highly recommend that one on the days where I'm not using this to exfoliate but I do need to cleanse my skin I use the calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash which is also really really good uh, it's a gel formula and it sort of activates immediately as you apply it onto your skin and it foams up a little bit it smells absolutely amazing it smells of like flowers Mm. also very very fresh very hydrating almost citrus like it's really really weird uh, cal calendula is um, extracted from the marigold flower so this is really really an exceptional product for me because it just leaves my, my skin it doesn't strip my skin I don't go like this and feel like dry but it leaves my skin feeling really really good and I like it it just gets the job done and it gets it done really really well so yeah these are my two standout products for Kiehl's absolutely love them doll I love them okay now one last skincare product is a hand cream and this one is from Woolworths this is the cranberry and acerola cherry hand and nail cream I love it I love it because it is deeply moisturizing I just put some on it is deeply moisturizing leaves your skin feeling soft fresh your hands rather feeling soft fresh and it smells of cranberry and I love the scent of cranberry I'm not even gonna lie I love smells absolutely delicious it smells so good you could eat it you really could eat it and I love this it is uh, vegan friendly as well and it's got no parabens as well which is also really nice so if you're vegan or you think you're going vegan and you're looking for a good hand cream boom Woolworths got you covered now we're gonna move on to 
okay so recently i get asked a lot about my skin you've got such nice skin what are you using on your skin whether i've got makeup on or not so i feel like these products contribute really really nicely to making even my makeup application extremely just flawless and beautiful and just hello okay. if you see a little pop of black that's my mic don't don't mind that don't mind that um so okay so a foundation that i've been getting into again i used to be on the fence a lot with this foundation but honestly speaking i really really am really enjoying it i use it every day now this is the bobby brown skin long wear weightless foundation full cover um uh, i recently finished the other one that i got like last year sometime I picked this one up again and my shade in this is Warm Almond. All my Bobbi Brown foundations are Warm Almond in shade. I'm wearing it today, right now. It's doing the things of the most. Um, and I absolutely love it. Full coverage, stays on all day, hardly any creasing or cracking which i normally get with my foundations around here my smile lines and sometimes there none of that with this which i really really appreciate if i do get a little bit of creasing it's like minuscule it's minuscule but i really really enjoy this foundation i feel like it's amazing it lasts it's a matte foundation which i am Milapo. I'm in the mad family when it comes to foundations and I absolutely love this one. Highly recommend that you try that one out. And one thing that I get asked about when I am wearing makeup is how do I brighten up the area under my eyes? These two products. These two products. Sometimes we get a little bit afraid to go extra light with concealer, especially if you're going to be putting it underneath the eyes. Do it, babes. This is a MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NC42. I'm actually, foundation wise, I'm actually an NC47. Yes. Is it 47? Yes, I'm an NC47 and this is an NC42. So it's a couple of shades lighter, a lot. It's really, really light. But what I love about it is that it instantly, it blends seamlessly. It's one of the best found, um, concealers from MAC. MAC. I can't talk, I'm talking so fast. It's one of the best concealers from MAC. It blends seamlessly, it just goes on really quickly. It full coverage, It uh, you don't have to go on and then go on again and whatever, it's completely full coverage, which is what I love about it the most. Um, uh, this one is NC42, as I said, it's very, very light underneath the eyes, but I ain't scared, I ain't scared. No, I'm not because it brightens up the area under my eyes so nicely that I'm just like, yes, but yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And then what I do to further brighten the, the <laughs> skin underneath my eyes after I've applied this, I set it with this. And this is the Sasha, well, it's wiped off now, but this is the Sasha Buttercup Yellow Powder, the powder. Very fine, does not cause the concealer to crack or crease throughout the day, looks exceptional with makeup on and instantly brightens that area under your eyes. And you're just like with the people, you're like, you literally do not look like you slept at three o'clock the night before. That's how they work so, so well together. And I'm a big fan of these two together. You can even um, try the Maybelline, the... Um, the one that you wind up, I forgot, age rewind, the rewind, yep, you can even try that, but just go like literally maybe two shades lighter, see what it does, because that one is also really, really great at blending as well, absolutely love that. And then for mascara, I've been loving this one. Uh, if you know me, you've been following the channel or the blog for a while, you know that I love my Essence Mascara, but, a couple of months ago, I purchased this one. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Aesthetic Mascara in Noir, which is black, of course. Not only is the packaging phenomenal, it's sexy, it's nice, it's beautiful, thin, trim-lined, um, and rose gold, but it is a really, really nice mascara. Normal mascara type of brush, Nothing different there, but it is a really, really nice mascara. It's great for volume. It lengthens the lashes so well. I absolutely love this. I cannot, cannot commend, cannot recommend this one enough. It is a little bit more on the pricier side as compared to the Essence one, which kind of killed me because I feel like, why are we spending so much money on just mascara? But it's, it's a hundred and... 
30, 60, somewhere there, but it is a really, really great mascara. I love it. I recommend this one extremely. I recommend this mascara. I love it. I love it. Moving on to what I've got on my lips today and I, I went crazy over these products when they first dropped. These are the L'Oreal Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks Le Chocolat range. They're all Le Chocolat Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick range. The red one is the one that I've got on today. And this one is number 864 Tasty Ruby. Does it not remind you of Ruby Woo from MAC? Does it not? And also, uh, is it Escape Pioneer? Pioneer from Maybelline as well. Yep, around the same price as the Pioneer from Maybelline one. Really, just really, really, really. It doesn't feel uncomfortable on the lips. It doesn't crease or crack or look funky. It doesn't do that for me. Like it really doesn't. And I absolutely love it. With, um, with, with darker colors, I seem to gravitate more to matte matte finishes as opposed to uh with brighter colors with my nudes i can i can gloss in it up a little bit i really don't mind my other favorite color is this one which reminds me of escapist from the maybelline superstay liquid ink something also liquid uh, lipsticks uh, and this one is in 868 which is cacao rush crush cacao crush <laughs> It's beautiful. It's a dark, rich, vampy, plummy kind of color. It is absolutely stunning. I love, love, love that color. And that is pretty much it. Those are my current favorites that I've been loving over the last, wow, almost took my ring off. That just happened. It's not even me. The sun just went into the clouds. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> wow uh, a seemingly perfect video and it's now just gone dark um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna go now and i'll see you in the next video mm, daki bye <laughs> really 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 son you had to do that Damn.